Hi, I'm Lori, and welcome back to the Way of Positive Change YouTube channel. Thank you all for subscribing. Thanks for all of you that have contacted me for the $25 reading special at the Way of Positive Change at Gmail to um, request your special reading. All right, first of all, let me tell you I'm sick. <laughs> so, you know, I did that last video on um, the escalation of the violence at the embassy, and I was starting to feel a little wonky then, you know. Um, and I think I kind of hurried through the reading a little bit. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about that. Um, for, the, for the last Trump um, video we did for January, we saw that there would be mil military action, okay? And then in this past New Year video, uh, we saw that there would be a sneaky attacks. Um, we also saw that we might, might have that short period of time where we got through New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We did, so our angels and guides were very helpful uh, to us, because if I remember correctly, um, the strike that Trump sent was on the second, I think. And then, you know, for our reading for the new year and this upcoming Pluto-Saturn conjunction, it, we talked about aggression and drama and trauma, and has it been filled with aggression and drama and trauma? Are you seeing aggression and drama around you? And are you staying out of it? <laughs> And then the last thing we saw in the last video was it was all about the dudes. Like, you know, Trump, Soleimani, my, I'm sorry, I was sick, you guys. The, the leader that Trump took out, and, um, and Pompeo, and McConnell, so, and Schumer. So let's take a look to see. I want to come back on, and uh, I'm so thankful for all the other readers that have looked into this because it helped me stay sane. I just didn't feel good enough to come in. Um, all right, so let's take a look and see what is the, uh, what will the retaliation be um, from Iran? And uh, what do we need to know about it? All right, <clears throat> I, I did wake up this morning and the word caliphate came into my mind. So you know how when you're just waking up and you're, you know, you're kind of in and out. So um, that could be very important, that word. All right, let's see, what is Iran, what are they going to do? Can you give us a clue of what they're gonna do? Um, please watch those readings and let me know what you feel about them. And the death card did come up. It was on its side. So it's like it was the challenge card. So it was like uh, we were challenged whether to do that or not to do that, not to be aggressive. And then will they be able to deal with that? And then we did see that there would be ways to talk and that we could get other neighboring countries to help us. Of course, I'm sure we're not in this all by ourselves in the first place, right? Um, all right. Let's see what we need to know, okay, because, and also, send your prayers out for Australia. Man, I've been sending and sending, and to all of our troops, okay. Um, all right, so we're on a bit of shaky ground. We're not far away from hearing what they're gonna do. The seven of, um, the seven of pentacles tells us two things, I mean, excuse me, seven of wands tells us two things. Uh, there will be aggressive aggression on their behalf they will um, and they'll get away with something but remember the seven of wands didn't get up early enough to match his shoes you know so something doesn't go quite right so the they feel momentum and they're gonna try to climb the hill that's what this is all right okay so uh, all right, we have the Six of Swords. So this is about um, sailing through the waters. They're having a tough time. Um, but also it's about the waters and the strait that is there that the oil uh, ships go through, the, the tankers and, um, and trade and things like that. So um, the challenge is how they're going to block it off or what they're going to do. Uh, who they're going to let through, who they're not going to let through. So this is usually something always by water. So let's just focus on that. And that is the challenge.
they know that might be tricky. And we saw there could be, you know, sneaky attacks. And remember, you guys, I was buzzing through that reading because I was starting to not feel well. And I just, I wanted to get it uploaded and out because I was real concerned and with good reason because look at all of what has happened. Um, all right, so they did, they see, saw us as the bully. We already know that. We saw that in the last reading. And they feel attacked. But they are, you know, they recently here, um, I know they're having the, the funeral or the memorial or whatever. Um, they're gaining momentum. So they they are. That's energy. That's in the past. Okay. That's scary. So, you know, um, the chariot card is, you know, very much like the, the chariot in the biblical times. You know, it, it represented war, military, or putting on your fine finest armor and clothes. And so they're... You know, of course, the guy, um, the general that they took out, and the other general, um, of course, they were in the military, you know. So the military people that were in support of those two people will feel the need to do something. Okay. Their emotions are on high, and they also know that Trump is um, very emotional, and he reacts only when it's about him, of course. Um, I think they know they're sort of dealing with the loose cannon here. Um, and they also know, I, I really believe the, leader, the leaders know, of course, just like everybody else, that what he says, half of what he says. Remember, the, the King of Cups is blowhard. Lies and deception. So, uh, sneaky something hasn't been seen, something hasn't come. Uh, to the light, I also feel like they, um, Trump or Pompeo, that of course they broke the, the agreement that Obama set up, but um, they're feeling like he has already lied to them. They know that we have um, an alliance, if I took this out of the Trump, of the emotions of Trump, they know that we have alliances with other kings and queens, um, Netanyahu and um, the queen, Queen Elizabeth. All right, they know that it will take time and patience for them to put together something that will be successful. So they're willing to wait. And that's perhaps why we saw in the last reading there was a specific, you know, little, the Ten of Cups was there. There was a little time frame that we got through the holiday and that there wouldn't be an all-out, you know, war, war. Um, we're, I'm just praying that this is right. Um, they know if they bide their time because the strength card isn't fast. It's always really slow. And they want to muzzle Trump. They really, really do. There it is. There's the Ten of Cups. Um, this could be a celebration. Um, this is could be a plus. I'm going to say maybe even a sunny place. So I'm going to say two because this... Um, because of the way this is sitting. I don't have the sun card. Again, water. And then I'm going to say something that has to do with controlling our waters, um, things that are put into water. Remember, the, the temperance card is the alchemist, so he's mixing two two single components to make a compound um so i'm really feeling that there's going to be two things and perhaps even to our allies um so i think everybody has to you know be careful but again, I, I feel like this will take some time. Let's see if we can get a timing card on this. Wow. 
water, 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 water with the moon card. We could maybe even take this as the um, at the time around of a certain phase of the moon or that eclipse. Um, can we get a timing card? Another moon card. Phases of the moon. Because the high priestess has the waxing waning in full on her. On her crown. And then we have the four cups. So. I'm going to stick with. I, I don't. I don't like to do numbers like that. And I forget what, um, oh, anyway, let's just go with, it's going to be around the time. It's going to be sneaky, deceptive, secretive, because we have the high priestess and the moon. And I, I feel like it'll be around a special phase of the moon, full, uh, the eclipse. I think there's an eclipse on the 10th, right? Right before we have that conjunction. Um, correct me. Like I said, I've been sick, you guys, so... Um, all right, so now let's take a look at I also feel like they'll try to make an offer because I saw talks and somebody just wasn't having it, you know, and I don't see McConnell. I did a reading on him and I don't see him forever backing Trump because he knows when to stick his head in his shell and run, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's look and see. Got the four. I mean, it could be four weeks, right? Four days, four weeks. All right. All right. Let's take a look and see. What is this? Oh, what do they want us to know? What's important for, for us to know, you know, for our own sanity? I know it was to stay out of the drama. Don't pick up the phone if someone's... Don't believe everything you hear, of course, because this is a distract, total distraction by Trump. This just didn't just happen because he's been impeached. So, And there are more articles coming. All right, what do we need to know for the upcoming conjunction and a little bit of sanity. Yeah, guides and angels, let us know. Oh, they want me to stop right there. All right, try to go with the flow. You know, the queen of wands tries to go with the flow. She's also, use your intuition. She has the black cat familiar there. Use your intuition. Don't believe everything the dudes are saying, you know. Um. And, the, you know, the king of swords could be military for sure. Work on your relationships. Work on your intuition. I'm going to see another queen. Queen of wands. Uh, work together. Be together. Um, choose to send out healing love and prayers. Be with your friends. There's three queens. Wow, there's a big meeting. It's going to be a really big meeting. That's funny because there were three there was the emperor and two kings, right? And so now I'm getting three queens. So it's going to be about the girls. It's going to be, there's news coming about three very important women um, here, I guess, in the United States that are going to get together. I got another three that have formed an alliance. They're looking for healing and how they can help the situation. It will be waffly, wobbly. Uh, and we will move over and we're going to get some very significant, important information from three women that have a plan, looking for healing, moving forward. They've already set this into motion. And, and there's the world card, which means uh, things are going to work out better than what we think, despite the sneaky attacks. And keep our goals and our dreams uh, close to our heart. Okay. All right. Is there anything that we don't know? Don't worry, you guys. Don't worry. We're 
working on it, working on it, and something that we were working on was very foolish. Now I'll leave you up to your own judgment to decide what that was. Um, Trump's not looking where he's going. Okay. We need to look where we're going and what we're creating. So be very careful with what you're creating and look both ways before you walk across the street or attempt to do anything on your own. Okay. All right, that's it for today. And um, I will see you. I will try to rest and do well. Uh, come back Monday or Tuesday. Um, if you have any questions or you want to set up a reading, email me at the way of positive change at Gmail. Um, any questions, leave them below. And thanks again so much, you guys. We, we're, uh, we'll just help each other, okay? And send your prayers for Australia. All right, thanks. Love you.